Hey everyone, I just want to do a quick video on PVM as a whole and what stats to aim for and some things that might help you with that. So, the first stat is summoning. So to get summoning, you need charms. The best way to get charms is to get a charming imp. Cost 100k dungeoneering tokens. In clan, they ask about elite dungeons. Basically, if there's a mini boss in elite dungeons you draw and you kill it, it gives you 5k dungeoneering tokens. So the best one to do is Temple of Amanishi, which requires a quest called Impressing the Vocals. That quest takes five minutes. Otherwise, a lot of people do ED3, which is Shadow Reef, and you can also get a lot of Dungeoneering tokens and experience there as well. So this will pick up charms for you, and it'll help you get summoning, get your summoning high by having enough charms. And so why you should level summoning is you can get access to damage familiars, um, accuracy familiars such as knee hills, or stuff like a yak, which is a beast called a beast of burden that carries extra, has 28 extra slots in addition to your inventory that you can walk around with. So that'll help you a lot in learning bosses and God Wars 2 and stuff like that. So the second thing you want to aim for is 96 Herbalar to get overloads. Overloads just boost your stats and it's like it refreshes every 15 seconds. Adrenaline potions, which um, are used as, in conjunction with stuff like Sunshine and Death Swiftness to be able to get to your threshold ability percentage of 50% as fast as you can to do the most damage. So Herbalar has offers really good stat boosting ability, uh, stat boosting potions so you can do more damage and that's really required on many bosses. So Herbalar, I push Warbands a lot. That's a good free way to be able to get Herbalar experience by doing every day. The other thing you can get uh, you other thing you can get to help out with Herbalar training before you really seriously do it is you need to do a scroll cleansing which save which can has a chance to save like a 1 in 6 chance to save your secondary material and complete the potion quicker. So this is very important thing to really start training um Herb. Only other thing I, I want to mention in here is in here Ring of Vigor. This is really need, needed in conjunction with using your Sunshine, Death Swiftness, your ultimate abilities. So it's 50k engineering tokens. If you have any questions about that, we can talk. Third thing is 95 Prayer. What prayer? Get, what that gives you access to is it gives you access to stuff like Soul Split, which ba heals you for based upon the damage you do to a target, as well as Torment and t95 prayer so this is the magic equivalent this helps you do a lot more damage with your respective style so where you want to train prayer is you want to go to the chaos altar it's in the wilderness but you want to bank everything before you go here you walk from here you go here there's a bank guy over here he doesn't show so when you're naked and you get here you, you withdraw from the bank you run around with your bones you use them on the altar you use one bone on the altar and it'll go through the entire inventory you run back around you withdraw another inventory, you keep doing this and doing this and doing this, and then you have 95 prayer. How to figure out which bones you want to you should use is you go to runehq.com slash calculator slash prayer. You can Google that. You put in what your current level RXP is and your goal target. Make sure to click Gilded Altar with Burners, and then you can scroll down. Usually what people buy is Dragon Bones. Um, if you have a lot of money, you can do Air Bones or Frost Dragon Bones as well. And the final thing that we want to talk, I want to talk about is invention. Invention basically gives you perks to help you do more damage, damage reduction, stuff like that. So as an example, this precise six on my weapon and increases my minimum damage by 1.5% per rank. So this is 9% total. So to unlock invention, you need 80 divination, you need 80 crafting, 80 smithing. So for divination, divination is a sucky skill. It takes forever. So you want to start doing Guthix caches as they're called. So. You can read about these, they're really easy, um, but they happen every hour and they take 10 minutes. So you need to make sure to start doing them daily because I'll help you get your divination level up. So these are the key four things, stats you wanna make sure you have. There are some archeology span abilities you can get when you're around 57, but that can we can discuss that later. Other things you wanna do is World Wakes quest. There's no requirements, even though it has a long list of recommended quests and that'll help you get your ultimate abilities in that are really key in range and magic. And the final thing is a Maz Cab Ability Codex, which unlocks Corruption Shot, Corruption Blast, um, which are essentially a damage over time ability that spreads to nearby enemies. It's a very good ability. This costs about 28 million, and you'll need one for magic and range, but it is definitely worth it as well. So these are just some initial things you wanna aim for as you start getting into PVM and really wanting to get a higher boss in the tiers. Thanks, guys.